Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It's currently Tuesday the 14th of July and um, I am currently reading The Man in the Brown Suit by Agatha Christie. Almost got a paper cut there. Um, so I'm going to crack on through reading this and then I think I'm going to read some Shakespeare. I'm going to pick up one of the Shakespeare plays that I have in these really beautiful um, um, Folio Society editions. So that's very exciting. Um, and then maybe some more Asimov or some Scott Fitzgerald. I don't know. We'll see. So that's where we're at. I'm quite tired. Hello. It is. I need to shave. This is my reminder to myself that I need to shave uh, and a haircut as well. <laughs> it is. Is it Wednesday? Yes, it's Wednesday, presumably the 15th. Yes, Wednesday, the 15th of July. Um, mostly been productive really. I was on uh, the radio on my friend Claire's show talking about books and stuff. Um, so that was this afternoon. So that was fun. Um, I went for my walk after that and uh, now I have a bad blister on my foot. And I think it's because of my shoes, which is a bit of a pain. Um, shout out to Graham Sillers. Uh, so I'm just getting going to be posting this to him soon. This is his... Uh, I've only got one hand free here. This is his edition of uh, A Midsummer's Night's bleh, A Midsummer Night's Dream. Here we go. Let's give you a little. Hang on. So yeah, uh, these were going for about nine pounds. Who's the? Oh, uh, Sir Ralph Richardson is the introduction. Folio Society, nineteen fifty-seven. These are going for about nine pounds, including postage. Um, so for Graham, I said I would do it for about eight pounds. So um, yeah, got this to send off to him. And he has a very good YouTube channel. I'm still reading The Man in the Brown Suit by Agatha Christie. I'm, oh, yeah, I'm about 90 pages from the end. So I'm hoping to finish that this evening. And then I'm going to crack on with some of the, um, some of the Shakespeare. I'm not sure which one yet. I'll probably pick up whichever one is convenient, to be honest. Uh, what else is new? Um, that's about it, really. Yeah, I'm going to crack on with being busy now. Do some more stuff. Oh, and I've been editing Jason's novel, uh, The Haunted Country. So I'm currently up to page 80 of 216. So that's good. Um, yeah, cracking on with that. Oh, we'll get back to episode. Ah! Jason of Jason's Weird Reads, I should clarify. Jason White. Hmm. You watching the printer, Biggie? You helping me? Thank you. Uh-oh, 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 he coming. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, he coming. Wah, 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 wah. Hello, I wasn't sure whether to do an update today, but I've decided I'm going to. Um, I'm on the penultimate episode of um, the MasterChef The Professional Series 1, which is weird, actually, because they were like, we're welcoming previous MasterChef The Professionals winners, and it's like, but this is meant to be... The Any anyway, uh, so there are four left, and I like... There's a French guy called Arno who has just fucked up his creme brulee, so he might be going home. And there is a woman <laughs> whose name I can't remember right now. I think it maybe might be Ellie. Um, and then there are two guys. One of them might be James. I don't know. Anyway, I'm watching the rest of that. It's very strange watching it as a vegan. They were just chatting about his bone marrow being unctuous, and I'm like, is that is that good? Uh, I've been reading Coriolanus in this stunning facsimile edition here of uh, William Shakespeare. So look, I'm just at the start of Act Second, Scene One, Rome, a public place. These are really beautiful books, but um, they're so beautiful that Biggie here, in fact, he's coming back again. I have to be strategic. He decided he was going to sit on it. So then while he was sitting on it, I started reading The Murder at the Vicarage, which I'm now having as my main read because it's a Miss Marple and I'm really quite enjoying it. Um, as you can see, I've been tabbing it out to do a review. So, um, you know, keep your eyes peeled for that coming soon. But now I'm probably just going to crack on with reading The Murder at the Vicarage um, until I finish it and then I'll go back to Coriolanus. It depends. It depends what Biggie here decides to sit on. Oh, oh, that's my stomach. He has gone for the murder at the vicarage. Of course he has. 
Of course he has. No, he's gone to sit directly in front of the screen, so I can't see Master Chef. You haven't sat there for ages, Biggie. That's like the collapsed arm. That arm there is fine, and then this arm over here has just collapsed. Try and show you. Bite me, don't bite me, don't don't you don't give me the bunny kicks. I'll I'll beat I'll beat your ass down. Yes. Exactly. Dane has created Polish grandma vegan pizza topped with applewood smoked vegan cheese, sliced tomatoes, spring onions, and habanero pepper, served with a tomato puree smile and a stick of rosemary and garlic olives. Bon appétit. Okay, so it is Saturday. The, what are we on? 18th, I wanna say, or is it the 11th? It's the 18th, okay. Saturday the 18th of July, um, productive day hopefully today, so I'm hoping to get some work done. Uh, I'm going to go for a little walk in a little bit, and then I'm going to go to Tesco to try and get some compost for my garden. Maybe I'll show you my garden in a minute. I was going to get some photos to show you mum, so yeah, I'll, sh I'll go out and show you my how my garden's coming along in a second. Um, new camera is coming so that's very exciting um and in fact i've got two new cameras coming so i'm hopefully going to sell one of them on oh yeah i've been eating this uh what is it turkish delight with double pistachio and pomegranate it is amazing um i got it from the, the there's a polish shop just right down the road from me they also do some really amazing like f like fresh fruit and veg so like onions that are like this big i've got these spring onions that are like as long as my arm if not longer so um yeah it's been good um just had a spot of breakfast which was basically habanero pizza but it was nice my master chef take on it because i've been watching too much of it i've got nothing else to watch um yeah been cracking with reading i've been reading the murder at the vicarage by agatha christie so i'm very nearly finished so i'm hoping to finish this today and then probably to film a review of it and uh, after that, I will be going back to the Shakespeare, to Coriolanus, um, to read on from Act Two. Biggie's over here, he's just been out in the sunshine. He was very loving last night. Was, we were having lots of big cuddles, weren't we, Biggie? Yeah. Um, yeah, and then after I read that, I'm probably gonna read at least one of these little, you know, how it works, the dog or whatever, some of these little mini ladybirds I've got, because these are nice little palate cleanser books, you know? And also, once I read them, I can chuck them on eBay. So there is also that. Uh, what am I going to read after that? So we'll do Christie Shakespeare. So then I'd want to break it up. So I might read... Mm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I might see what's... Because I've got a stack of books behind my stack of books. So I might see what's back there and um, pick up one that I've had for a while. If not, I guess I might go for um, 
like one of these Asimov collections. I have um, Isaac Asimov, the Hugo Award winners, 1968 to 1970. And the Hugo Award's like a pretty, uh, pretty important sci-fi award. So you would think, and at that time as well, 68 to 70, that's got to be like, there's got to be like fucking Arthur C. Clarke and stuff in there. <laughs> like some really cool authors. So yeah, that's where we're at. I think that's it. Hello, uh, little vlog update. I have finished reading The Murder at the Vicarage by Agatha Christie. So I'm going to go back to Coriolanus and I might, um, as I say, read one of those little ladybird how-to books as well. But I wanted to give you um, that, little, that little update there. Hello, it is Sunday the 19th of July. Um, I slept in late today. I slept until like 2pm. And actually then I woke up and realised that my Asda shop had been the guy had attempted to live to deliver it 15 minutes earlier and i'd obviously just been asleep so i didn't know so um yeah luckily i managed to get him to come back so i've had my ass to shop done now so i've been trying to clean and tidy the house but we're sort of getting there now um just like a couple of big jobs left to do really and um i've just finished reading coriolanus this beautiful folio edition uh, by William Shakespeare. It's a uh, tragedy. It kind of goes hand in hand in some ways with uh, Antony and Cleopatra because they're both written around similar times, both tragedies. Um, but yeah, was, I've read Antony and Cleopatra already and I do quite enjoy that because I enjoy Egyptian history. Um, this is more Romany, but uh, it was nice to have all of these. You know, it's got beautiful interior layout and these uh, illustrations are very cool as well. So overall, pleasurable in, uh, reading experience. Enjoy it, four out of five. Sad ending, but it is a tragedy. So you would expect that. So I'm probably gonna read some of the Ladybird books for adults that I've got now. I think I've got three of them. We're just gonna read all three of them just to tick those off. Um, and then I don't know what I'm gonna read next. Maybe the Howard Marks book of dope stories. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Um, but that seems like a good place to end this week's vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.